So people call me up sometimes and they say, I know you've done a lot of traveling and I want you to tell me how to do it. How, where did you stay? What did you do? And my advice is always don't make any plans. Just get an airline ticket and fly over there and get off the plane and ask, ask around to a taxi driver where you can stay. Get a good night's sleep the next morning, get up, walk out the door, look left, look right, look forward, and go one of those directions. You cannot lose. I love traveling by myself. In Thailand, I was trying to figure out how I could get around the island because there wasn't really uh, many buses or anything because they weren't up to tourists when I was there. And it was at Koh Samui, a little island off Thailand. And I met up with this guy just coincidentally, and he was Japanese, and he had a motorbike. He didn't speak any English, I didn't speak any Japanese, but he indicated to me that he was going around the island, and I said, I know, I want to go around the island, and he said, and I got on the back of that motorcycle with him, and I was gone for two days. When I was a kid, I had a globe in my house and I used to spin it around and look at it and lay in bed with it and the whole thing. And I would tell my parents that when I got big, I was gonna go to every one of those countries. And in the United States where I lived, I was gonna go to every one of those states. Well, my parents laughed that, I mean, you know, not laughed at me exactly, but it was kinda like, oh, Paul, isn't that cute? She, she thinks she's gonna go to all those places. and. And uh, she's got big dreams, and, uh, but the truth of the matter is I have been in every country except for India, and I've been in every state in the United States. My dad said, you know, you don't have to go all those places. I mean, I bought you encyclopedias. I have the World Book encyclopedias for you to look up anything you want. You can go to Brazil. It'll talk to you about the top topography. It'll talk to you about the religion, about what kind of crops they grow there what their weather is, anything you need to know is in there. But I just knew that there was more and that I wanted to go there because I wanted to see those people and I wanted to eat that food and I wanted to look at that landscape and see what kind of colors and textures that it had and if it was really like what I saw in National Geographic. I became addicted to travel. Everyone has an addiction. If my addiction was something, it was travel. And I put all my money into travel. I thought it was the best investment I could make because I was making an investment in myself. And that was more valuable to me than having a big house or a big car or any kind of diamond rings. And so that's where I spent my money. I fell in love a thousand times with lots of people um, that I created those experiences with that I still hold and have. And I also created a lot of romantic experiences, which I still hold and have. And again, they were my most intimate and my best relationships because we had three days, five days, whatever, together, and we were present and there. There also is the synchronicity that happens where things just fall into place and become something that you never expected and something is created and the serendipity of what can happen in terms of advance in people is just magical. So today, I want to know what your dreams are, what your experiences with travel are, and what your stories are. Or maybe you just want to tell me your traveling lifestyle.